Good afternoon, Click fans, and welcome back to beautiful Orlando, Florida. We are here for an action-packed day of coverage at ClickNect. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching The Cube. Very excited to be joined by Miranda, who happens to be a big part of the reason we get to come down here, which is awesome. Thank you so much for having Thanks us. Thanks for being here. All of us in particular. And thanks oh, for joining me today. I'm, I'm so excited that you're here. We're so excited to be here in Orlando and actually just excited this is finally happening. <laughs> I can imagine, I, I know when you have an event, you're always so eager and, <laughs> yes. and it's finally here. It's a big party. So many good vibes, so many smiles. I want to I want to start by talking about this morning because there was a really power packed keynote. Yes. And speaking of bringing people together, you've brought together an AI council. Tell me a little bit about that. Super exciting. We believe it's a really big differentiator for us uh, in the market um, and just in the whole space of AI. So in January, we announced uh, our AI council. It's comprised of four founding members. Um, and they are all here today, um, and they're gonna be here for the rest of the week, so that's very exciting. And just to give you a little bit of insight into how difficult it is to bring these four very, very smart, uh, very in-demand people together, Dr. Roman Chowdhury last night at the cocktail reception was telling me that prior to coming to Orlando, she had been in three continents in five days speaking on the topic oh of AI, gosh. advising. So these are, these are folks who look at AI from a few different lenses, whether it's through governance and legal, whether it's through how we should be thinking about it and what we need to be doing, or whether it's actually the tech. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow on the main stage, the four of them are gonna be joined by our Chief Strategy Officer, James Fisher, for what Exciting. we're calling the big AI conversation. And they're gonna be imposing their wisdom on all facets of AI uh, to our audience. So we're super excited about that. Oh gosh, that's gonna be a good one. I think we have James on our show as well this afternoon. Which he's, is... he's brilliant, lovely guy, yeah. One of the things that's really stuck out to me, and it's, it's awesome that you're doing that, and got all those people in here, my goodness, I can't imagine, I'm sorry, three continents in five days is... Three continents in five days. She was in uh, Seoul, Saudi Arabia, Arabia, and then Geneva, and then she came over here uh, to Orlando. Um, and it's not just her, it's it's all of them. They are, they are high demand people because they have so much expertise. You know, they're mm -hmm. advising Nina Schick. I was talking to her, she advises world leaders. Um, Dr. Roman Chowdhury is advising the U.S. government on policy. Like these are just yeah. really, really wise people that we've been able to bring into the Click ecosystem. So we're super proud of that. And you should be. And and one of the things that really stuck out to me right away when I got here, sense of community mm -hmm. and how happy your customers are. We have uh, we, our our CMO Chris Powell calls him the fringe lunatic. Uh, Mike Capone was saying this morning to a group of industry analysts. We have a 93% retention rate with our customers. So Ooh. Click customers are happy Click customers. And you can see by how yeah. many of them are here. Uh, they're just extremely loyal. They stay with us for a long time. Um, they continue to build in terms of um, the solutions that they are using. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is, that is something that we're really proud of as a company and something that we talk about a lot is just the, the loyalty of our, of our customers. 93% yeah. is a really impressive stat. Congratulations yeah. Thank you. on that. Give me a couple more numbers. How many people are here? I heard rumor this is the biggest Click Connect ever. Yeah, so we have about 2,100 people here. Um, 50 of those are members of the press and industry analyst and influencer community. So folks who can really help us um, get the word out. We've had, we're gonna have seven news announcements across three days. So, you know, folks being able to write about it, to talk about it, to amplify it on their platforms, really getting, getting the uh, market awareness of Click out there is something that is near and dear to my heart. And one of the ways that we do that is by making connections at mm -hmm. Connect. So we have over 185 connections that we're making across our customers, our partners, with media, with industry analysts, and that includes folks like yourself. You know, yeah. you're doing a ton of meetings with our customers and, and our own execs. So just making those connections at Connect is one of the most special things for me because we're, we're, we're making connections across people who may not normally talk to one another, you know, or Absolutely. may not talk to folks like yourself. So that's pretty awesome. It is awesome and it's so global. You have an incredibly 12 global- 12 countries. The, yeah. uh, the press and industry analyst community represents 12 countries. So that is incredible. It's, it's pretty cool. And all of your customers, we've had guests from, we've had Irish guests, we've had Dutch guests, we've had Brazilian guests on our show already today. Yeah. It shows you just how far Click's reach is mm -hmm. around that global community, which is also Well, really everyone exciting. wants to come to Orlando, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> no, it I mean, is. It's a truly global, it's a truly global event. And that's something that we're, we're really proud of as well. 
How much does it mean to you to be able to see all these people you communicate with in person here in Orlando? It's just such a sense of welcome and just like so much love, right? And there's so mm -hmm. many different events within the event. We call them ancillary events, but different cocktail parties, different sessions that are going on. You know, we've got the cube is like a different. Mm -hmm. So just making those connections and it warms my heart, really. It warms my heart to see all of these people together. And everyone here, like you like you observed, is smiling and, and they're happy and they're having a good time. From the time that they join the general mm -hmm. session in the morning, whether where they're learning and picking up information, to where they're touring the show floor, being able to check different things out, to going to a, a dinner party or a cocktail event where they can you know, really get into the networking piece of it. So yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and everyone just the hoots and hollers during the keynote. My goodness, you can tell how delighted everyone is to yeah. be around each other. I'll give you a stat real quick. Please. Because I, I just learned this. We had uh, 1,114 people. In addition to the folks that were in the room, we had over 1,100 people watch the live stream of the show. Amazing. So, of the keynotes, yeah. So in addition to being here in Orlando, we're really extending the viewership to folks who weren't able to join. So that's one of the things when I talk about the AI Council, I'm super excited, not just for the folks in the room, yeah. but also those who join our uh, live stream. Yeah, I bet. And and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of replays there too. I mean, thousands yes. and thousands of people. Will be available in. on demand. Yes. What excites you most? We were, you know, AI, obviously a little bit of hype and a few mm -hmm. people talking about it these days. What excites you most about AI? As a person, it doesn't have to be just as a clicky. Um, my CMO coined a term that I'm going to steal from him, uh, but he called ChatGPT our, GPT our um, junior copywriter. Mm -hmm. So actually for me, uh, since I'm in communications, I, I love the ability to be able to ask chat like AI, you know, mm -hmm. chat GPT to write me something that um, and then I can go and put my put my own spin on it. But it really has been quite interesting to see how we can use it to be more efficient in our jobs. Mm -hmm. And so I think I think that's what's kind of cool about it. Like I don't want to get dependent on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and dull my skills. But it has been it has been interesting to see how that has evolved and how we can implement Im oh, implement yeah. that in our day day to day life. More free time is is amazing. We we had Mackenzie on the show a couple weeks ago at Google, and it was so interesting. He one of the, our guests said that the the thing that's going to benefit the most from the AI revolution is the dog. <laughs> We're all going to have more time. Or you with your cat. We're going to have more time for our animals and the things in our life that are lovely, our families and, and everything else, which is That's very right. exciting. More okay. free time is better. Yeah. Yes. I'm not doing repetitive tasks, <laughs> which is also nice. Last question for sure. you. We'll obviously have you back on the show again next year when we're back for Click With Connect. my cat. Yes. Well, now that we know that's a thing, <laughs> we have to make that happen. Uh, what's your cat's name? My home girl. My home girl is definitely I'm, coming on the show. I'm from Kansas City. Go Chiefs. That is, that is <laughs> awesome. So next girl, next girl, next next uh, year when when you and my home girl are on, yeah. I love that you did my, it's very clever, <laughs> are, are on the show with us here and you're hanging out. What do you hope that you can say then that you can't quite say yet today? I clearly want to continue to advance our progress. I mean, in, in our solutions and the things that we can offer our customers. I want to be able to say that it's true that our customers have a better understanding of where AI is going to fit in the mm -hmm. broader scope of, of their technology profile. We announced this morning um, something called Click Answers. It's a new uh, product um, that we just put into the market. It's on the heels of the acquisition that we made of Kindy. We believe that that's a big difference maker for mm -hmm. us in terms of market differentiator and what, Mike Capone, our CEO, always says is, unlike some of our competitors, what we announce today, what, what we're talking about today is available today. It's not a promise. So in a year from now, I hope that we'll be able to say the exact same thing, that we've, we've made advancements to our product portfolio, our, our customers are using them, mm -hmm. and we're delighting them in their journey to better understanding of their technology. Snaps to that, I love it. Let's make it real, that's Let's fantastic. Brianna, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. And thank you for curating such fantastic guests. Wow. Shout out to Craig, too. I know had a lot doing yes. the wrangling. We, we appreciate you. And thank all of you for tuning in to our power-packed coverage here in Orlando, Florida. We're at Click Connect. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.